Thanks for installing the Ultralink browser extension. We hope that you find it useful and want to make sure you know about all its features. First, what is an Ultralink? Unlike hyperlinks, Ultralinks are normally invisible. They try to stay away until you need them. On a web page, words that have ultralinks on them have a subtle blue shadow. As you move your cursor around, you can see the blue shadow fading in as it gets closer. To quickly see all the ultralinks on a page, hold down the Option or Alt key. All ultralinks currently visible on the screen will be fully highlighted. A single click brings up the ultralink itself, ready for you to explore. An ultralink is a collection of links arranged by category. Just click where you want to go. Something important to note is that these links have subtle shadows around them, either blue or black. Links that have a blue shadow around them will take you straight to their destination if you click on them like we saw before. If you click on links that have a black shadow around them, an inline pane will appear displaying the information behind the link in a sleek and concise presentation. This way you can get the information you want quickly without breaking your flow and leaving the page. When an inline pane is displayed, its link changes from black shadow to blue shadow. This way you can still go to the underlying web page by clicking on the link again. You can dismiss an inline pane or an ultralink at any time simply by clicking off it. If an ultralink has just been brought up and you immediately want to dismiss it, you don't even need to click. Just hover your cursor off and it goes away. You can also click inside the word well of an ultralink for a quick, complete dismissal. Now when you don't know a word, or want to find out more about something, just click on the ultralink and dive in. If you don't see the link you want, you can always hit the search button and get quick access to search results. The link in the upper right corner is the ultralink itself. It brings up an inline pane containing all the information associated with the ultralink, such as the words that this ultralink will match, categories describing the ultralink, and all the links attached to it. This is where you can provide feedback if something about the ultralink is wrong or missing. Report bad or broken links. Suggest another category or another word for the ultralink to match against. If you have the correct permissions, this is the place where you can actually make changes to the ultralink. If this ultralink is not the correct one for the page, if one of its links is broken or is incorrect, or if you have a link that should be added, pull up the ultralink pane and let us know. Some link types, such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Google+, require authentication to display page information in an inline pane. If you haven't authenticated the browser extension for those link types, they will simply have a blue shadow on them. To authenticate the browser extension for those link types, bring up the Ultralink toolbar in your browser window and click on the Accounts tab. Click Authenticate, and a window will pop up from that service asking for your permission to authenticate the Ultralink browser extension and will explain the kinds of actions it is requesting permissions for. Once you have given permission, 
you will see a completion page and it will dismiss itself after 5 seconds. Back in the Ultralink toolbar, you now see a button indicating what account the service has been authenticated with. To deauthenticate a service at any time, simply click this button. Once you have authenticated the browser extension, not only do those links now have a black shadow around them, but you can also perform contextually relevant actions inside their panes. As an example, here I can perform retweets, favorites, or even follow someone right here in the pane. The information inside these panes can also be relevant specifically to you. Here I can see that I am two hops away from this person on LinkedIn through this contact. We are continually adding support for more services as well as expanding inline pane functionality. We want to add features to make your web surfing experience richer and smoother. Is there some feature you can think of that would make your life easier? We want to hear about it. So to do that, let's return to the Ultralink toolbar and visit the About pane. Here we see basic information like the version of the browser extension, as well as what database it is currently connected to. Also prominently displayed is a feedback box. This is where you can request features, report bugs, or let us know what you think. Just click inside the feedback box, speak your mind, and then hit the send feedback button. Let's dig into the Ultralink toolbar a bit. At the top, we have an Enable Ultralinks checkbox, which lets you turn Ultralinks on or off anytime you wish. If you surf with Ultralinks disabled, you can use a quick shortcut by pressing the Option or Alt key three times. Ultralinks are then loaded into the current page, but the Enable Ultralinks checkbox in the toolbar remains off. Moving to the Settings tab, we can fine-tune specific Ultralink behavior to our liking. The first setting, Replace Hyperlinks in Database, is off by default. When it is selected, the browser extension looks for hyperlinks in the web page that contain words that are also in the Ultralink.me database. If it finds one, then it converts that hyperlink into the Ultralink from the database. The original link is automatically attached to the Ultralink if it isn't already. The next setting, Convert Wikipedia Hyperlinks, performs a similar function, but only on Wikipedia pages and only on Wikipedia links. This beautifies Wikipedia pages into very sleek and uncluttered articles where you can get an instant summary or preview of the underlying Wikipedia article. Next is the Open Links in New Windows option. Blue Shadow Links are simply normal web page links and thus they default to normal browser behavior. Instead of this default browser behavior, if you want Blue Shadow Links to always bring up a new window or tab, then simply turn this setting on. Ultralinks were designed to not be intrusive and not call undue attention to themselves. The cursor proximity fade subtly calls out ultralinks that are near your cursor. You can turn it off simply by unchecking this option. Then ultralinks will only highlight when your cursor is directly over them. Normally, ultralinks require an explicit click to bring them up. However, some people prefer to simply hover over an ultralink to call it up. When the cursor hover setting is checked, that is exactly what happens. By default, the time it takes for a hover to trigger an ultralink is 250 milliseconds, or a quarter of a second. If this is too long or too short, you can customize the time to your needs. 
In the Links tab, there is a list of all the link types we currently support, organized by category. If there are link types that you would prefer not to see in an ultralink, you turn them off with the corresponding checkboxes here. Also displayed is whether the link type defaults to being a blue shadow link or a black shadow link. For those link types that can become black shadow with the right authentication, there is a convenient authenticate button. Some link types have a disclosure button next to them. Under this button are what we call insights. When you activate an insight, the browser extension will actively highlight ultralinks in red that satisfy that insight. If you hover your mouse over the insight, you can get a quick explanation of what the insight's conditions are. An example might be to highlight all the ultralinks on a page for people that are two hops away from you on LinkedIn. That way you can surf around and be notified whenever you come across someone who is connected to, but not inside, your LinkedIn network. Another use of insights might be to highlight every ultralink on a page for companies that fit a specific profile. Perhaps I'm an angel investor looking for an early stage company that is still young, but has at least one round of funding. Perhaps you have more than one company profile. Insights which allow you to specify input parameters can be cloned by clicking on the green plus button. And destroyed by the red X button. Some insights are free and available for anyone to enable. Others require premium insight subscriptions. To obtain the required subscriptions, simply click on the button labeled Premium, and you will be sent to the Ultralink dashboard where you can sign up. We previously learned about how authenticating services in the Accounts tab enable certain link types to become black shadowed. The first service on the Accounts tab is Ultralink.me. Ultralink.me accounts are free and only require a valid email address to sign up. As outlined in our Policies page, we will never spam you and will not provide your information to third parties unless lawfully compelled. If you authenticate the browser extension with your Ultralink.me account, some other link types become black shadowed, like Crunchbase, and certain Amazon links. Also, many insights require Ultralink.me authentication to work. Signing up for an Ultralink.me account also enables any feedback you give to be associated with your account so that you get the credit you deserve. Your Ultralink.me account gives you access to the Ultralink dashboard. Here you can unlock achievements designed to teach you about how Ultralinks work. You can also search and browse the main Ultralink.me database. Or maintain your own separate hosted database if you purchase a subscription. In your own database, you have full editorial control over the Ultralinks. The Locale tab is where you can specify your language or geographic preferences. Many Ultralinks have multiple links of the same type attached to them. A prominent example are Ultralinks that have multiple instances of the same Wikipedia link in different languages. When an Ultralink is brought up and presented to you, only one of those Wikipedia links will actually be deployed. Based on your locale preferences, it will prioritize the correct one.
the Ultralink browser extension tries to infer your default language and country from your web browser. You can specify multiple languages and countries and fine tune their order to your liking. The last tab in the toolbar is the Privacy tab. Here you can selectively enable or disable Ultralinks on specific sites. Details of our privacy policy and how we handle your data can be read in plain English on our policies page. The default privacy policy is that of a blacklist. If you want Ultralinks to run on all sites except for a specific few, you can add them here. Ultralinks will no longer be enabled for you on any sites listed in your blacklist. If you know the exact set of websites you want Ultralinks to run on, you might prefer to use a whitelist. You add websites to the whitelist in a similar way to the blacklist. If switched into whitelist mode, Ultralinks will only be enabled on the websites listed in your whitelist. You also have the option to simply disable Ultralinks on any page that starts with HTTPS. Websites large and small are migrating to HTTPS by default. As such, this option is not recommended, but is available if you want it.